Well, hey there, we're tracking a midweek cool down that's on the way. You'll be noticing that in the five-day forecast. Let's start off with today's stats. We climbed into the 80s, 84 here at CBS4, 88 over at the airport. Started in the 50s, pretty close to that normal low, a little above average out at the airport for the normal high. Records 97 and 44. Here's the jet stream. There's a little dip in the western U.S. right now with an area of low pressure. And that's keeping us somewhat unsettled. The flow is southwest, and that means moisture continues to stream across the state. And when interacting with daytime heating, that pops up showers and storms. You can expect a repeat of today, both Sunday and Monday, to wrap up your Labor Day weekend. Then for the middle of the upcoming week, we're already looking toward Canada. See that big cool batch of air up there? It will be headed our way. Future cast, the showers and storms that are out there tonight will die off. We'll wake up tomorrow with mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies and we'll crop up showers and storms again during the afternoon. Not everybody gets wet, but if they pop up where you live, you may need to seek shelter briefly. Same thing Monday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, mostly over the higher terrain, but some of those will drift off onto the eastern plains. Tonight, 50s east and west with a few places near 60. Higher elevations, mid 30s to mid 40s, definitely cooling off now in the high country as we roll into September. 70s and 80s statewide tomorrow. A few places in the southeast could approach the 90 degree mark. Check out this five day forecast. We're going to stay uh, right around the 80 degree mark or so the next few days, falling into the 70s for the upcoming week. Some models show Wednesday's highs may not even hit 70. We'll have to just see how cold that air is, and then we warm it up a little bit as we roll into next weekend. That's your latest forecast. I'm meteorologist Chris Spears.